Hello. <clears throat> um, just woke up. <laughs> I'm not exactly awake yet. Oh, shit. Forgot to plug in the microphone. Start over. So, I wanted to uh, record a couple of things here. Um, specifically items that are probably just going to make their way to a box and never be seen again. Therefore, I wanted to uh, go ahead and get them recorded. Um, first, this video is going to be all non-orientable objects. What that means is these are objects that uh, are very difficult to render because they either have one side to them, which makes it have no volume and no dimensions, which makes ray tracers go a little bit wacko. Um, first things first, this is a Mobius scarf. If you notice, it's a, it's a Mobius strip made into a scarf such that any one side, if you were to trace it all the way around, is the same side. So there's only actually one side to the whole scarf. It's a Mobius. Mobius scarf. <laughs> this is a Klein bottle. And what makes it weird is that, uh, like the Mobius strip, if you were to trace one side of it all the way around, let me try to get a good view of it so you can see. It has a hole in the bottom, so it has the hole. If you were to trace one side of this object all the way around and then back inside and continue to trace that side, you'd go all the way around the outside and the inside and you'd still be tracing the same side. So technically it only has one side because you never come to the end of that side. You're still tracing that same side, whether you're on the inside or you're, you're on the outside. You're still tracing one side. So it's kind of a one-sided object. So if it only has one side, like the Mobius strip, then how can it have any volume? How can you calculate the volume of an object that has only one side? Uh, I shouldn't do a video when I'm not awake. Well, clearly it has volume, because as you see here, I've got liquid in it. So it has volume, but it has no volume, because it only has one side. So, I think it's kind of cool. One of the weird things I collect. Bye.